So I've had this for a few years now. It's called the freeze pedal and do I still use it? Hey, what's going on people? Check it out. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this pedal. I've done a review on it. It was a few years ago, but I want to answer the question. Do I still use it? And the answer is yes. All the time I still use this pedal. It's such a great practice tool to use and if you guys want to see the full review of this video slash demo that I did, it was a few years ago. It was about 80 pounds heavier <laughs> so I may look a little bit different uh, but check out that video I may link it up in the cards or in the description it's just called the freeze pedal demo so I'll show you guys a few clips of how this works only reason why I'm doing that is because I'm doing a lot of renovating and remodeling in my house and also my studio slash office is getting renovated as well so it's gonna be some time I uh, can't really have the setup that I want right now but anyway I'll just go through this because I got this question recently about this pedal uh, it's by electro harmonics uh, most of the pedals that I have uh, or I have a relationship with uh, MXR uh, Jim Dunlop pedals um, and products I, I use a lot of that stuff the, the looper clone looper the uh, envelope filter the reverb the everything every single pedal that I have is MXR but this one is a little bit different so it's by electro harmonics like I said very very cool pedal very simple to use um, and if you see here I don't know if you can see that I don't know if it'll focus on that there it is. So here's a little idea of exactly how this works. So I'm pressing the actual, the main button here and I have it on latch. So when I click that, it holds the chord for me and I can play on top of it. So let's do this again. So I play the chord first. Okay, so I guess I get the hang of it. So you can play a note or a chord, anything, and then press that button and it'll hold it for you. It'll sustain that note for you. So let's see what fast does. I'm doing everything with my foot. <laughs> so I flip this switch up to fast and let's see. So if I play a... Oh, so, okay, so fast, it seems like... Okay, so you hold down that you hold down that switch for the fast. And I, when you let it go, it cuts off. So as you guys can see, it's great to use for practice, just holding out a note or a chord and playing on top of that. I use this for my practice when I'm trying to play or solo on top of a chord. I will play the one chord and then I'll try to solo on top of it. <laughs> So I can hear that chord underneath my playing because that's some of the struggle that I had in beginning because I like playing with other musicians and you know they can hold out chords and they can play a jam or a groove uh, and then most times we're busy you know holding down the bass line so we can't really venture off like everybody else can in a band situation so you can have that at home by yourself with this. I'm just thinking of ways this can be so beneficial for your practice routine that uh, you can hear that one note droning Right. And then you could play the scale on top of that, or whatever scale you're playing to or whatever is related to. Or you can play the chord on top of that. Let me stop it. Yeah. So you can play the chord on top of that and actually play the scale to see how the see how it relates. So if I just wanted to play a C. There's a C. Now I can play my C major scale. I can play a C Dorian scale. So you can see how it sounds in relation to the root note. So that's one of the main reasons why I like this pedal, why I use this pedal in my everyday practice. It's not necessarily a uh, performance thing um, that I'll use it for. I'm sure a lot of people use it for a performance type of vibe. I'm sure uh, uh, I know one guy here on YouTube, Yannick Gwizdala. I think that's his name. Uh, he uses a lot of pedals and I'm, he might use one of these. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the basic guy. I don't use tons of pedals like that. Uh, maybe just a few here and there, maybe a wah here, a octave pedal there, you know, something like that. I don't go crazy with it, but uh, there's tons of guys that do. But this is one that is very, very valuable and it's really actually not that much money. It really doesn't cost that much at all. It's a regular price of a, of a 
of a pedal. Anyway, so if you guys are interested in this, I'll put the link to this down in the description. Uh, hopefully you guys are doing cool, doing okay, doing well during the season. I've got my tree up here. Uh, that's the only thing that's up. I might sound like I have an echo because I'm in a room like there's nothing at all. Uh, so there's a lot of echo in this room. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys got a little something out of that and uh, showed you the way that this works. And you can also check out the demo, like I said before, in the past. Uh, next week, we'll be back with another lesson, another video. You always you already know that's what we're going to do. We do that every single week. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're new here, click that red subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to do that or hit the like button or the dislike button. Doesn't matter. Doesn't cost you anything to do that either. <laughs> so just your honest opinion. I like to chop it up with you guys in the comments. Make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Like I say, after every single video, if you're new here, you'll get used to that. Uh, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace.